we are here to show you how this 12 volt DC cooler operates uh, this is powered using a, a any ordinary 12 volt DC battery here you have a 12 volt 1 ampere DC fan and there are two switches here to regulate the fan and the pump uh, this is mounted on a portable stand it uh, the length of this it measures around uh, 62 centimeters, 62 centimeters is the uh, length of this cooler and the width is around 42 centimeters by 42 centimeters. Uh, let me show you the internal structure of this cooler. Uh, here we have a DC fan. This is, uh, yeah, here uh, the, then there's a pump here, which is distributing like any other normal ordinary cooler. So yeah, this is just a little bit on the internals of the cooler uh, and this is a folding stand you can unpack this very easily you can remove these nuts and you can unpack them now we'll put the window frame uh, back in place uh, yeah, you can and now I'll show you how this operates I'll switch on the pump and uh, let's see what happens here uh, okay you have some water flowing uh, you can hear the noise of the water falling. There is water flowing down here. And even on this third window, you have proper water distribution. So yes, water is flowing pretty well. Uh, for uniform distribution. <laughs> okay, now I will switch on the fan. This is basically a one man cooler for anyone uh, working on a table or uh, to cool around one or two people. You can use this in any remote area. Uh, the power consumption is just around 15 20 watts. With this battery you can power this cooler for around 3 hours and just a normal uh, 25 watt panel would be able to recharge this battery in a day's time. So yes, uh, this is a pretty simple DC cooler. Uh, the advantage is it, it uses very little electricity, just around uh, 18 watts and you can power it using uh, ordinary batteries and solar panels. That would be all.